I'm Sophie and I'm one of the science kids. Today we're going to be talking about silkworms. In case you're wondering, the silkworm actually makes silk. It isn't called silkworm for no reason. That's right, pure silk. Now that I think about it, it sounds kind of weird for people to wear something that comes out of a caterpillar. Also, quick fact, did you know that silkworms lay about 200 to 500 eggs? Yeah, that's right. 200 to 500! Oh! Ah! Ah! And what? Ah! Let's talk about the history of silkworms. One day, the wife of the Emperor of China was sipping tea under a mulberry tree when a silkworm fell into her tea and began to unravel out of its cocoon. And that is how the silkworm was discovered. Soon, silk became very useful and was a sign of being either very rich or very powerful. Soon, silk became so big that people created a road between China and the Roman Empire to trade silk. That road was called the Silk Road. That's a very creative name. I wonder how they came up with that. So what name should we think about for this road? I don't know. How about the Milky Silky? Uh, I don't know. How about the Silk Road? Genius! Absolutely genius! I know. Also, did you know that the silkworm's cocoon is made out of one thread that is from 300 meters to 900 meters long? That's about the length of three to nine football fields. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for our next few videos. Don't forget to check out our social media pages and our website down below. And as always, science is everywhere and in everything. Bye!